Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have a couple of wines in front of me from a property in the Côte de Duras. Now where we are here, uh, Bergerac Way, there's a lot of wines there that are, it, 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 they probably get fed up with being called a, a Bordeaux in waiting. They're close to Bordeaux. For both the whites and the reds, they use the same grapes for Bordeaux. Uh, so one of these is a Sauvignon, you know, and the other one's got Sauvignon with a bit of Semillon in there. Uh, and as a result of not being in their famous neighbour, uh, there's a couple of things, usually better value, uh, but also because they, they try and think, right, OK, well, if, if Bordeaux can do it, we can do it just as well. So the wines are generally pretty pretty reliable, or at least the ones that we see over here. Uh, so, well, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'm not setting these up for a fall. Let's go. Them a go both from Domaine Grand Main, uh, although this first one does the second one actually say Domaine Grand Main, Domaine du Grand Main on this one just says Grand Main, so I don't know whether that means they are uh, partly made from bought in fruit. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a weird little operation. This owned by a community of over 600 of its customers. Um, so, um, if you fancy uh, becoming part of one of those, being coming the 601st. Uh, drop them a line, and there'll be details below this video somewhere. Anyway, uh, so this one is the Sauvignon 2015, weighing in at 13.5% alcohol. There's a crispness, there's a tanginess, there's a herby edge here, uh, a little bit of um, grass nettle, but it feels like they, there's a, a, quite a weight to the Sauvignon flavours here. Uh, Bordeaux Sauvignon often reminds me a little bit of tinned pears. I can't remember the last time I had a tinned pear, but um, there's that little character there. But there's a freshness and bite and zip about it. Yeah, pretty nice wine, that. There's a zesty character, but then there's this richness. Uh, a little bit of um, pear skin, apples, citrus freshness, herbiness. Um, not as much of a shriek as some of the Sauvignons that you get from uh, other parts of the world and other parts of France. Um, I like that. Next one is three years older, and it's, this is their Reserve um, 2012 Sauvignon Semillon. I'm not sure how much of each. Uh, I think from memory it's about 70 Sauvignon, maybe 30 Semillon. If I'm wrong, slap wrists all round. Um, uh, <laughs> smells like there's really quite a nice wine here. That smells like there's going to be a richness and a honeyed, uh, honeyed uh, juicy edge. But... Um, there's also a little bit of cork taint, so it's just take it's flat, just flattening the flat, flattening the aromas out. Um, I'll taste it and see what it's like. One of those really annoying ones where there's just that little bit that's flattening it and um, reducing reducing the zip and s sappiness and intensity of the fruit. Uh, hey, it happen, happens. Interesting that they bottled the um, uh, the Sauvignon with the screw cap and uh, this one with a cork, which uh, this time hasn't worked out, but I've had wines from them in the past and uh, they usually have been pretty good. So uh, uh, go and buy the Sauvignon. We'll ignore this one for the moment. I will see if I can uh, track down another bottle for a subsequent video, but uh, for the moment, um, hey, 50-50. See you soon.